My name is Tom Lind. I'm the um, fire chief here. This is Penn Forest Fire Company number one. Uh, I've been the chief here for one year. Uh, I moved here about five years ago. And I joined here three years ago. But prior to coming here, I had uh, 40 years of uh, fire experience before coming up here. So we're all volunteers here. We have about 24 volunteers and um, we have a really tight knit group here. It really works out well. What I need or would like to have to buy with this grant is the four gas meters um, meter and a gas detector. The four gas meter will detect um, the level, level of oxygen in the room, carbon monoxide, um, in layman's terms, swamp gas, propane, stuff like that. Everything you're going to find in this area. Um, and the other is a leak detector, which is highly sensitive and it has a wand on there. And just recently, referencing, we had a call um, of an outside LP tank. They had odor in the house and it turned out the tank was overfilled, but it's the sensitive meter that picked it up. So it took us a little while, we've traced it all around, but that's what it's good for, the, the equipment. And we hope to um, replace ones that are getting old. During the summer, 50% of our calls were automatic fire alarms. And an automatic fire alarm can be anything. You name it, the people have a smoke detector, a CO detector, or even a gas meter and detector in their house. And a lot of times they're malfunctioning alarms. Um, the sensors go bad or they go out of date. They call it the end of the life. And we don't know until we get there. So you walk in and we, they're telling us, um, we don't smell anything, we don't see anything. We have no idea why you're here, but it is all colorless, odorless gas. So with our meters, we can go in and we can check the level of the oxygen in the room. We can check the level of carbon monoxide in the room. And if there's a sewer backup, we can pick up on that and propane. What these detectors do, not only for our fire, the alarms that we get, we can't go into a, a structure that has, a detect, that has an alarm unless we have um, self-contained breathing apparatus. Um, there are times you won't make it in the door more than two steps if carbon monoxide is present and it'll take you um, down. We also use this four gas meter when we're like, cleaning up from a house fire because the toxic gases that are coming off the um, materials that burned in the house are dangerous to us. And even though the house may not have a window or it's wide open, these toxic gases are still coming off the material all the furniture, so we have to use that meter to monitor until, and you have to keep your air pack on until the air is deemed you know, breathable. You hate to leave a call until you can find out exactly what the reason is. So these detectors really can help us pinpoint and narrow down where it is, and if it's a bad detector. Um, the detectors do go out of date, and it's nice when you say, hey, your detector's bad, Here's, we'll give them a detector and, and we can go home and everybody goes to sleep. But it's really nice to know that we found the cause and we, we can go home and sleep. It makes me nervous if I, can, if I have to leave and I'm not 100% sure. And these really do help my cause. Because of uh, the COVID going on here, we've been searching for grants and uh, really searching for grants. And then somebody whispered in my ear, um, I know an organization you may want to check out and it happened to be yours. And uh, I, with the help of someone else here, you know, uh, applied for the grant. And uh, I, I thought, well, this is great. And you contacted me. I thought, this is, it's exciting now, you know, it's real exciting. So anywhere we can find um, a grant, it's really helpful, real helpful.